Mm. The old geezer is unbelievable. What's the matter now, Miss Wilma? Old Wilhelm promised to meet me here, yet he's nowhere to be found. How is Wilma to fix the inn without his tools? Miss Wilma? Why, she does nothing all day, lass. Might as well have her lend a hand. I thought she was looking after your inn, Miss Wilma. Looking after my inn, you say? All she does is sit at the counter all day. Keeping your shop open, Miss Wilma. Why, that's the least she can do, wouldn't you say? I suppose, but I wouldn't. She's right where she belongs, that's what. Leaving for Primaldorf at the first chance she got to learn a trade, she said. All I've seen her learn is to sleep on the job. Yet she's everyone's favorite. Prettier, nicer, with the bigger hair, the bigger... Ah, I see how it is. Always got all the praise while I've been here working myself to the bone. It's best I leave her to it. Ah, there's a wood cutting. Oh, I don't think I'm gonna go back all the way back to look at everything. Eh, maybe I am. Nothing. And I gotta go all the way up to the house again. Just to check if there's anything different. Talk about the Granny Hall's room, so. Oops. Hey, I didn't check the tapestry either. Oh, now she's hit with an arrow and bleeding? Huh. What in the Lord's name? It's been a long time since. Uh, okay. No reason to go in still. things that serpent told me, to allow myself to indulge in all that. I know what the serpent meant, but am I ready to face it? Kieferberg's greenery gently sways in the breeze outside. Hmm. There. Okay. Backyard. Oh, missing. Ah. Oh, no goat there, and I don't think it's going to be in the greenery. Yeah, 
and all the way back. Oh, Elise, I'm so glad to see you. What can I help you with, Miss Dorothea? I'm going to be lending Freya a hand in a little while, you see. Could you pitch me some logs for the hearth in the meantime? Of course, Miss Dorothea. Leave it to me. I'll bring you as many as you need. Well, thank you, Elise. Why don't they ask Freya to chop it for them instead? Oops. Dang it. Dang it. Oh well. Ah, this is just what I needed, Elise. Thank you, my dear. Oh, thank you, Miss Dorothea. Ooh, running harder, I see. in here? I think. I forgot, do I have anything to sell? I don't believe I do. Oh yeah, I didn't look at the, uh, a needle in the shape of a serpent, its blade covered in sharp thorns. Huh. Alright, let's do... Red. Keep one on backup. Okay, I'm supposed to go to the creek. Let's... Now, 
Okay, there's a safe point up here, so just in case I got pulled into the council meeting. Check out down here while we're here. Nothing. Is anybody still wondering about outside? Do a loop. Doesn't look like it. Looks like everybody actually did go to the church. I'm sure, except for Wilma. Whoever's at the desk. Oh, and the granny, too. That's curious. Was that? I wonder if. Oh, hello. But Grandpa, why don't you children go play a little longer? Oh, Elise, won't you help us? Help with what? You want to help with the stalls, you see. It's the least we can do, Grandpa. How's that fell, Groon? Ah, he's... That fell's resting at home, Elise. That whole ordeal wasn't good for him, I'm afraid. It wasn't good for anyone, for that matter. That's why we should go and help, Grandpa. Please, Mr. Bernhard. And let's not forget Mr. Bernhardt wasn't exactly on my side, either. Okay, so if they're still there... See if the time passes with Rosemarine. So then, not going to the church would be interesting. Okay. Huh? I miss somebody. Feeling okay. Okay, so there's nobody here right now. Well, if we go to the church, it won't pass time. Brethren, I've gathered you here today to address the recent goings-on. Rather late, Father. We've had enough. Show us some respect, Elma. No, she's right. We need answers, Father. I'm afraid we will not be getting many today, Guido. If this is yet another plea for us to overlook this situation, why 
don't we let Father Hands take the lead? He's had it all weekend. Look where it got us, Gustav. We're together here this evening for a vigil, brethren. Together we are to appeal to the Lord's mercy and benevolence, as well as... All that'll do is put a lid on folks' troubles, Father. That's right, we need a switch to pay. What do you suggest ought to pay, Lorley? Where's this witch you folks speak of? Gustav's right, we don't know where to turn. Here will show us the path we ought to follow, brethren. I have prayed all day, every day, and nothing's changed, Father. I fear for my poor Jacob, Father. Whoever is out there, they're taking our children, compromising our livelihoods. That's a decision, folks, want hands. We ought to search every lass in town for the witch's mark. We ought to do no such thing, you old geezer. That's no way to address your elders, Elise. Perhaps if my elders hadn't completely lost their wits. Hmm. Rest assured, lass, no lass in Kieferberg will be searched young or old. Two fools still resist what must be done. Old Jockin is right, we must see this through. This is ridiculous. Are you going to do it then, Mr. Ludwig? If there's anyone who ought to do it, it's Lepkachin. Me, Miss Brunhilde? Of course, lass, you're a woman of God. A woman of God or not, Lipkachin is to be searched as well. Out with it. None of you are touching her. No, Elise, we have to search someone. It may be for the best, Elise. Are you searching Freya too, then, and Miss Elizabeth? Ooh. No exceptions, lass. Truth is, we don't know anything about your cousin, Elise. Why don't we start with her? That's right, this all started the day she got here. Oh, I... Uh, no, I, I haven't done anything. Out with it. Nobody's laying a finger on her. I saw her. I saw Elisa's cousin. She's the witch. My beloved daughter. <laughs> eh? Elisa saw her too. She talked to the witch. There it is, folks. They're the witches. Oh, Apfel. It was true, Elise. You and your cousin are the ones who've been making our lives hell. No! Yet you're mistaken, we've done nothing of the sort. Confess a lot of you, confess your sins, you wretched witches. Hmm. Did you or did you not meet your cousin in the woods, Elise? Hmm. Oh, she didn't. Of course I didn't. I was all by myself right until I found him. Why, the lad says he saw you too, Elise. I didn't meet anyone in the woods, I swear. Oh my goodness, look! Oh. It's the witch! The witch is here! Oh, we're all going to die! Must keep calm, folks, keep calm. She was there, I saw her. She had yellow eyes. What do you have to say for yourself, lass? Oh, but I... I was nowhere near the woods. I'd gone home by then. How are we to know such a thing, you witch? If the lad says he saw you, lass. <laughs> no, no I, I truly had gone home. Out with it. Why are you doing this, you little... Is she even your cousin, Elise? Truly, I've been thinking about it all week. Oh, I... I am. I truly am her cousin. I... Not even you know your own cousin, Elise. Perhaps she's been a bad influence on you. She's anything but, Mr. B no, maybe... Uh... Ooh, that one's red. This one? She's anything but, Mr. Bernhard. 
You folks are losing your minds. That influence or not, what matters is whether she's a witch. How do you explain your cousin's kooky get up, Lise? All the things she's said and done, too. I I have never She's just a lassie. Pinning it on my cousin isn't gonna solve That fellow said he saw you two in the woods, Elise. What does Epfel know about the woods? Uh-oh. You must be reasonable here. That's enough. I've heard enough. Search her. We have to search the last right now. Find the witch's mark. I will take no more of this nonsense. That's this is enough. Can't you see what you're doing to Kieferberg? Can't you see this witch nonsense is turning us against each other? The witch is clearly right here in Kieferberg, lass. Oh, what can we do? Nobody in Kieferberg could ever do such a thing, old Jockin. You're a family, all of Kieferberg, no exceptions. Mm. Although we all understand your feelings, Freya. You clearly don't, Father. Nobody does. That fellow believes he's seen the witch. Folks have been on edge all day. All of this is a consequence of how we've been facing this crisis. The fear, hostility, and hesitation. That's all very nice, Freya, but we need to do something. I know, but... Let's do the vigil, then. Work on the preparations for the festival together. Like the family we are, the family we've always been. Freya! <sighs> Would you folks truly burn me at the stake? Or Elise, Lepkachin, even Rosemarine? I expected more of my family, that's all I wanted to say. Mm -hmm. You've said more than enough, Freya. All of Kieferberg is to meet here tonight for prayer. Hmm. As we ought to have done from the start. Hmm. Move along now, folks. We're to focus on what we ought to do. Protect our home at all costs. Ah. Hmm. I didn't like that one bit. It's best I head back to work. Okay, time didn't go on like I thought. When you put it like that, Tristan, don't let the whole ordeal get to you, lass. What do you mean, Mr. Tristan? Folks lost their minds for a while is all. All of Kieferberg is on edge. They don't mean what they say. Ah, I suppose you're right. You ought to come by later for the vigil, Elise. Both you and your cousin, you hear? Of course, Mr. Gustav, I won't miss it. Still, had it not been for Freya, you have to be proud, Gustav. He's my pride and joy, my pride and joy. I can't imagine what could have happened had she not said anything. Ah, do you have a moment, Elise? Of course, Miss Ariani. I must tell you, I'm ashamed about earlier. I couldn't bring myself to speak up for you. Miss Ariani, you're coming to the vigil, aren't you? Of course. That's good, Elise. That will help show them you're committed. We can't allow any more of this nonsense. I suppose she's feeling guilty, huh? Oh, Lepkachin. Lepkachin. I know, Elise. That was... I can't explain, I... Folks are completely out of their minds, Lepkachin. That was their Elise. It's alright. They weren't being reasonable. I wonder what's gotten into that fell. More importantly, Elise, now that we're alone together, I'd like to ask you. I didn't meet anyone in those woods, Lepkachin. Alright, I, I just need to hear it directly from you, is all. I wouldn't lie to you, you know that. I do, yes. I hate having to lie to her. Hmm, okay, still can't do that. Oh, both of them, huh? Okay, so it's not gonna give me anything extra, huh? Eek! Th there she is! For goodness sake, Oddly. Maybe it's best I go. 
I'm not certain my presence is much appreciated here. No, I'd say Miss Oddly is the one who ought to take a moment to herself. I must agree, Oddly. You folks don't understand that we've made a grave mistake. Maybe this one. Do you believe I'm the witch, is it? You truly want me to burn me at the stake, Miss Oddly? Well, please don't say such a thing, Elise. Of course not, Lance, but we can't keep on. Why don't you meet me in the confessional this evening, Miss Oddly? Before our vigil, that is. All our hands is right. You need help, Oddly. Oh, this will be the end of us. Ah, it's pushing down, huh? Okay. I have to keep my cool as best I can. It's a proper business opportunity, I tell you. What is Mr. Wilhelm? Fetch me those tools, old Wilhelm. I told you I have the boys waiting for me with those stalls. There's no need to get embarrassed now. Embarrassed? Boy's head, Elise. He made it himself. For goodness sake, you have talent in your hands, lad. I've seen my fair share of fats in all my years, and I tell you. I understand, old Wilhelm. The tools now, please. I wonder why he's so embarrassed about it. He certainly has the talent. You have to be patient with your auntie, Mindy. But, but, Miss Marielle... What are you pestering Miss Marielle for, Molly? Oh, it's alright, Elise. She's had enough trouble for one day. Molly's really been working the poor lass like a donkey. Uh, all I ask of my auntie is some bread. Her auntie feeds you plenty, Maggie. It seems she doesn't, Elise. She, she only gives me three meals a day, Elise. Why, you? That's hardly enough for a working lass, Elise. If only I'd know that's why you've been begging about town. It is. It truly is, M Miss Marielle. Oh, for goodness sake. How did Melody get so good at swindling folks? You must give it some proper thought, Dorothea. Give what some thought, Miss Brunhild? Oh, we're having a little chat is all. Keep her burgers in the place to raise our children, Elise. After what happened this morning, I... Hmm... I do agree, Miss Brunhild. The way Kieferberg's turned on me... Oh, it's got nothing to do with earlier, Elise. You've been thinking about it for a long while now. I have a hard time believing that, if I'm honest. But it truly wasn't. Don't say such a thing, Elise. They can do whatever it is they want. It's got nothing to do with me. Apples and chickens. Probably apples. You best believe the doors to my inn will be locked, Lorley. What for, Miss Wilma? I won't have folks making a ruckus inside my inn. Folks have had enough of that for one day, Wilma. Why don't you let Elise lend them a hand? As if I would let this last anywhere near my inn. Hmm. You made yourself clear, Miss Wilma. I'm not very interested in helping you out either, as a matter of fact. Good. Come now, Wilma. You heard what Freya said, didn't you? What of it, Lorley? This witch is still out there, and all we're doing is a vigil. You're truly... I'm surprised folks don't take this old hag for the witch. 